Hi guys, my name is Nick and this is Nick Creation Channel. So nowadays there are a lot of NFT games that are coming out. We have seen a lot of good and at the same time bad examples as well. In this video, join me again in reviewing another game which is Goblin Wars. And later on, I would like to know your thoughts because it is always good that we set our expectations in reviewing NFT games. Goblin Wars is a strategy quest-oriented game with a vivid economy inspired by old-school RPGs and play-to-earn concepts. Uniting the contemporary blockchain technologies with fun, offering the opportunity for a new investment choice that promises to reward players with real earnings. Earlier, I checked the contract address of their governance token. I just went to the KuCoin that up and then go to the holders. 80% of this token is currently in a lock wallet, keeps lock wallet. I assume that this is related to time locked or it is vested. I've also checked some of the tokens like for example this burning pool. So I can see that they are putting some, some of the tokens to the dead wallet. So when we say dead wallet, so it should be null address. So if you will go to the roadmap, the game is currently available in the web browser. So we'll be able to do some mining. They have sponsored us some NFTs so that we can check the game by ourselves and provide a review so guys they are eyeing to release the game as well in the android and ios in this website there are some contents that are wrong spelling like for example this uh stanking should be i think staking so we will just inform the dev about it but actually guys the team is doxed and I've already checked their LinkedIn accounts, like for example, you can focus on the co-CEOs, their artists. So let's start with the CEOs, Rodrigo Landim. So they're actually from Brazil. You can prove that this profile is legit because they've got recommendations since 2012. Rodrigo is an excellent professional, experienced, and competent. And then Carlos, the same. He got recommendation from Rodrigo last 2020. They've been working together since then. And then when you look at the Illustrator Instagram account, you can see the influence to their NFTs. Alright, so let, let's try to ch check more about them. So if you go to the Twitter, 1,306 followers. And it will be good to check if they're doing AMA sessions here. And so far, they're stunned. Going to their Discord. It's just apparently they only have 800 members here. But you can see from the content creators that there are a lot of uh, contents here about the game i think they are still in the early phase and it depends on the development of the game and if their organization will grow along the way their youtube channel has only nine subscribers and their facebook page has 693 followers you can do mining mode wherein you will be deploying goblins and you'll be able to earn some gold or gobi tokens and they will also have arena mode wherein you can do a combat with other players and you can gain experience here or gobi token as well and then they will have quest and crafting where you can create your equipments or items that you can use personally for your goblins or you can also sell it to the other players the other one is conquest wherein you'll have a total war with the other territories <coughs> the token is named gobi so goblin hero soul a governance token whose holders can vote basically as they had a share of the business all gobi spent creating new goblins will be destroyed making the currency even scarcer therefore increasing its value so this is one of their way to have the burning mechanism so that they can maintain the value of their token so these mechanisms are intended to reward players for interacting with goblin wars and at the same time encourage them to keep their token so they can claim additional rewards so you can check the pricing of their tokens here so you just need to select for example usdt and then put one goblin so the price is around 0.13 so that's around six or seven pesos so when you look at the tokenomics so i i think they were not able to update the web page template so you can see here the lorem ipsum so i already informed them about it we know how crucial it is to maintain the quality of your website so you can see here as well that play to earn will be 60 percent 
of the total token supply and the rest will be at most 10% so 14, 10% and then the others are below that percentage which i think should be normal and this is also enticing because 60 percent will go to the play to earn if you are interested to buy their goblin the probability of getting the rarity of common and common rare epic legendary are also here we're not seeing a web page for the partnership so if they have any investors or partners it will be good to see it here as well as it will give more confidence as well for the investors and players so if you want to read more about the game so you can go to the white paper so the opportunity to, to earn here is through the daily and weekly player versus environment missions so you can earn gold for the tokens you can also create items and strengthen your nfts or characters within the game or you can also do some staking of the gobi tokens if you so he, here is like a quick story about the game and I, I don't want you to get bored so you can also uh, read it but basically you will be a wizard warlord and you'll be able to create your allies through the goblins and do some mining and all and then they are planning to have metaverse in the future wherein they have multiple features that they will change into separate games so the goblin horde the goblin farms goblin arms goblin adventure and goblin conquest building your team of goblins and then the farming is about staking the arms is about the equipments and crafting and all and then the adventure is related to dungeon and pvp while the conquest is related to the terrain discovery like going into the other territories maybe related to the goblin wars so this is confirmed so the game is only in mining mode and it is ready and already paying the players so you can gain by selling boxes selling goblins mining gobi crafting items selling raw materials selling items and con conquering territories and if you will be investing in the game you will be buying boxes raw materials for crafting equipment and you need to recharge the energy of your goblins so the pricing are as follow we talk about this go box in their web page so the first one is common and then uncommon and rare where you you have an opportunity to get rarity from common to do to the legendary so here are the pricing so 400 gobi is around 54 us dollars so it's around 2500 pesos and then the next one is 800 so it will be around 5000 pesos and then the next one will be 319 or about 15000 pesos so there will be advantages depending on the rarity as usual so these are the hash power modifiers or multiplier and then the change time as well for crafting your equipments in the future so it depends on the type of goblin that you will be using so axe for strong goblin dagger for the agile goblin heavy armor for the vigorous goblin magic stuff for smart goblin bows and crossbows for high perception goblin and harps or guitars for charismatic goblin the dungeon is like pve adventure as well you can see that from this screenshot so there will be different attributes or abilities which are related to strength agility stamina intelligence perception and charisma so of course increasing your horde or the number of your goblins will, will give more impact the way you play the game in terms of the speed on the activities the strength and teaming up in looting resources so there are also races categorized into forest, desert, cave, mountain, and dark. And there are also body parts that can influence the attributes of your goblins. Even the races have influence on the plus and minus counts for the goblins. And the skin, the hair, the ear, and the eye, and the mouth as well. So we can just check it further and go into detail once we have played the game and opened our personal boxes and then for the breeding it's hard to calculate the probability of acquiring certain characteristics but here are the percentage that we can consider and then this will be the cost when when you want to invest on breeding your goblin so we can learn more about it 
when we start to think about breeding our goblins. But after breeding, parents and child will have a 5-day cooldown and will not be able to perform any other actions. <laughs> Here are the item boxed and the possible outcome when we open it. You can also check that later on. <laughs> and for the fusion, so you can check it here so new rarity uncommon rare epic and legendary when we combine two the same rarity and this will be the cost in gobi i have calculated this with the current value of gobi and it could be not profitable right now but i think the upside of this is that you can keep the characteristics of the main one and when you want to upgrade it into a new rarity that that will give you better modifier for the power ratio then you, you can consider that and for the gold so this will be their in-game reward so this is not a token for the token allocation you can see here their tokenomics and all the contract address that they're showing and you can also do your own investigation if you are heavily relying on the contract addresses as well i think what we are also missing here is that i haven't seen any contract audit right now maybe they are still in the uh, early phase but that's something that we should always consider <laughs> alright guys so after clicking the play now and connecting my wallet here so I can already open my go box so I have here a common so if it is common we have a chance to get 50% common 32 and common 12% for rare 4% for epic and almost 1% for the legend. So let's open this one. Alright, so what's the rarity of this one? Yep, we've got a common type goblin for this and these are the stats. And if you want to do breeding, then you need another goblin to do that. But we only have one and then you can transfer and sell it. Let me check the items first. Alright, so we have two rare items. So let's open this. Okay, so we've got all of this. We have another one so we've got this item so this is their marketplace and this is where we deposit our gobi tokens and remember that if we're gonna withdraw tokens here so there will be 70 percent deduction that can decrease day by day before you get the uh, 100 percent earning within the game apparently we cannot equip this goblin with the uh, items that we just opened okay so we will be adding our goblin here so he can start mining so there will be 3140 for daily distribution so i think it depends on the mining power the hash power it says here that you need at least 69 hash power for reward so it means that I'll, I'll, I'll be needing to buy more goblins so I can start earning and to claim rewards from the mining. So when I go back to my player, so it will be 8 hours for the common. Alright, I think that's it for this video. I hope you've learned something from this review and you can consider this points when reviewing the game and if you're really considering to go into this game. Investing requires better planning. Every person is unique and we have our own investing strategy and at the same time risk appetite. In my opinion, we always need to protect our capital and plan our allocation so that we can experiment on different type of investing activities. Whether it will be for trading, NFT flipping, buying and holding your tokens or NFTs. We need to understand our emotions and bias as we list down all of the conditions and requirements before we enter a game. So do you require that a dev team is doxxed? Do you require known business partners like Venture Capitals or Launchpad? What do you expect on tokenomics? As my usual reminder, let's always ensure that we know the game that we are investing with, we are ready for the risk, we invest what we can afford to lose, and that we always look at the project and an organization based on its growth potential, the fundamentals, and the long-term perspective. Alright guys, so we are here again in our giveaway of 250 Gcash or 5 USDT for 2 winners. So we will be using the video of Ethermon. So we've got 23 participants. So let's get the first winner. Congratulations, JB. This is the first time, so congratulations. Alright, so let's select the second winner. Just 
get it here. Congratulations, Bro J Pod. Thank you for supporting. And he mentioned that iOS Angeling. He appreciates the content that we've just created. Okay, okay guys, so I'm still inviting you to join my Discord channel so we can have our discussion there and more opportunities for all of us. So that concludes this giveaway and don't forget to watch and leave a comment in our future videos. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!